Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman uh, Subscribe Holidays are funerals. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars 6 inch Black Series action figure review on the San Diego Comic Con 2018 exclusive Exogorth Escape Han Solo. I did pick this up at San Diego Comic Con, and this is just a little bit tilted right over here, but we get a nice looking packaging of the Millennium Falcon wrapped around, looking pretty cool. I like that a lot. You can see right here on the front, you can see the Millennium Falcon. On the top, you can see the side of the Falcon right there. And then on the bottom, a little bit more Falcon. And then on this side, you could see Han Solo with his mask on. And then right here, you could see it says Han Solo, Exogorth Escape. Then there's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, pause it now. Basically explaining the scene, you know, when they have to run away from that giant tremor. That's what it looked like to me, it was a giant tremor. But anyway, uh, you could uh, separate that right there. And you could see Han Solo along with the Minoc right inside, which I believe is exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con, right? I really think this is the only way you can get yourself a Minoc. And then you can see our Bespin Han Solo right over there. Or our San Diego Comic Con exclusive Han Solo, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, this looks pretty nifty. I like the inside of the packaging over here. That's, that's actually kind of cool, you know? Pretty cool packaging. But anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Bespin Han Solo slash San Diego Comic Con exclusive Han Solo figure out of the packaging. And it looks pretty awesome. Now, this is the same body and everything that they're using for the retail version of Bespin Han Solo minus the added Minoc and the accessories that you're not seeing right over here. So this is basically a retail version of the Bespin Han Solo which looks pretty awesome so far. I do want to go back and get a closer look at that packaging so let's look at the inside of that packaging again then we'll get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll get a closer look at Han Solo. So here's a look at the inside of the Exogorth packaging looking pretty cool. I don't normally look at the inside of the packaging that much in my reviews but hey you know it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive and it's quite special. So I like how you can see the Millennium Falcon right there and you get all this mist and everything from the inside of the guts of the Exogorth. And then looking right here you can see the ramp to the Millennium Falcon too. So I think that's pretty awesome. So I kind of like this packaging. Uh, I'm not going to keep the figure inside the box so I'm going to leave him out of the packaging. So here's the three accessories that we get with this version of Han Solo. Uh, you can see he has this tool right here which I don't know. I think this was like for kind of splicing cables together or something. I can't remember exactly what this was for but there was some damage done to the ship and he needed to go out there and fix it you know it was because of the gore uh, it was all because of the minox though but this looks pretty nifty i guess you know this dark gunmetal gray color he has no holster for it or anything you know he, he took it off the ship so and then he also has his s trusty blaster right here I, I actually liked the solo movie man i don't know I, I like the history behind this this is pretty cool i like this and it does store nicely into his holster as we've seen with different han solo figures in the past from the black series so just go right in there, come out, there it goes, and then you can just tab this in, which is always a little tricky to do because the tab doesn't want to go to, oh, there it goes, that wasn't that hard. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how that looks. Nice little wash right over there on the holster. And then here's looking at the Minoc, and this looks awesome. I love the translucent plastic that they used for the wings. That is really cool. And we get kind of this glossy brown paint right here for the center. Then there's the suction mouth right there. And then here's looking at the back of it. I love the veins. I think this is really cool looking. I'm a big fan of the bat. You know, I like bats, and these things look like bats. But anyway, we get some nice wrinkles right here in these wings. It looks very cool. I love the translucent plastic once again. Ah, I forgot the breathing apparatus. This is very important. Yeah, this is a very cool little accessory. I like this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So you get the little, uh, I guess, oxygen tank right over here. Then you get this elastic strap that goes over his mouth, which is pretty cool. So just to demonstrate, you can see it just goes right around the face like, so. ah, shoot, it went all the way down to the neck. That, that could be frustrating. So once again, just go around the face. I feel like I'm kind of ruining this elastic band a little bit, but I love how that just fits over his face like that, and that looks pretty good to me. And then and you have this little clip which doesn't work out too well it's supposed to clip on the inside of his jacket uh, the little clear rubber band that comes with the figure I recommend just keeping that on here if you want this attached but I think this looks pretty cool I like this translucent tube and everything so that's pretty nifty nice clean silver paint right there on the mask that's pretty cool, man. It's just that over time, I feel like if you keep playing around with this, you could start damaging it as it looks like I've already have. You can see it gets a little fuzzy right there and right there, but 
yeah, I'm glad they included this. It's pretty nifty. Uh, but it, yeah, see, as soon as you start turning the head around, uh, yeah, it just detaches. So maybe if I heat this up, you know, I might be able to fix this little clip. So it looks like the Star Wars team over at Hasbro is taking notes from the Marvel team over there with this photoreal tech. It looks like the photoreal tech, and I think it looks really good. I like this a lot. It looks like there's even this little scar right over there, right? There's a little subtle Harrison Ford scar underneath his mouth. Right there on his chin. The eyes look really good over here. You know, the face sculpt looks great. Especially from the three-quarter angle, it really looks like Harrison Ford. And from the side, too. The hair looks awesome. You know, dead on Harrison Ford hair. Looks really good to me, man. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this face sculpt. That is awesome. Uh, comparing it to the original version, uh, yeah, it looks. this one looks very much like a toy. I actually liked this one, too. But, yeah, this one you know, looks a whole lot better. Apparently, the eye color... Is a little bit more accurate on this newer one, I guess. I can't really tell, but yeah, it looks pretty good, man. And I'm liking how the jacket looks over here. Nice wrinkles. Unfortunately, this figure suffers some uh, QC problems with the paint. You can see I got some extra white over there, so I'm going to try to take that off. We'll see how that goes. But other than that, I really like the jacket a lot. Very nice wrinkles throughout. Looks really good on the back of the jacket. Pretty cool. Digging that, nice texture and everything. The wrinkles on the inside for the shirt looks great too. I'm very pleased with that. Let me turn on the settings so you can see those wrinkles a little better. And a little scuffage right there for no, 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 it looks pretty good to me. Yeah, 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 just a shadow and a little paint missing right there. The belt looks great. Again, I love those straps. A little canister right there on the side. I don't know if that's a light or not, not sure. And you can see we get some clean silver paint apps right over there. So that's pretty nifty. I like that. Again, there's that holster. And then looking at the legs, you can see just little splotches of white throughout. That It's like it makes me feel like there's always dust on the figure, but it's just little, eh, little things of paint that bother me. So that's a bit irksome. It's the yellow paint from the stripes. But when they applied them to the side of the figure, it actually came out looking really clean. It's just that, I don't know, for whatever reason, the yellow paint just kind of went in different spots. I love this texture detail right here on the boots. That is awesome. Awesome. I, I love these realistic kind of details, so that makes me very happy seeing that detail right there in his leather boots. I guess if they went with a glossier material, it would look a little nicer. I don't know. Can't really complain about that too much, though. I really like it. And then he does have the peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Now, for the Han Solo articulation, you can move the head up quite a bit. Uh, trying to get that hair over the jacket. He could look up a little bit more so. And he can look down pretty far. Uh, I was surprised to see that we actually get a neck joint in here as opposed to just the head joint. I feel bad for just figuring this out right now, but that is pretty awesome. I did not see that coming. So, yeah, uh, it can move down pretty far. And that also allows for some great head tilting having that neck joint move up and down. I have not seen that articulation on a Hasbro 6-inch figure ever. That's pretty interesting to see. So yeah, a lot of head movement over here. Uh, you can move the shoulders out pretty far too. They move all the way down. You could rotate 360. And you get a single jointed elbow that bends in a little bit more than 90 degrees and you get rotation over there. For the left hand, you can turn the wrist down and up with the hinge and rotate side to side. For the right hand, you get a side to side roll of the dice motion and you get the swivel side to side. You get a diaphragm swivel right there and you can pivot at the diaphragm and if you can crunch forward just that much and back that much no waist joint over here you get hips that move outward that far and with the holster and everything you can get him kicking forward that much and back that much upper thigh cut it right there and you get a double jointed knee and then the ankles do move down they do move up quite a bit and he does have ankle pivot now to measure out this new Han Solo figure you can see that he is standing just at a little over six inches tall then here's our new Han Solo six inch black series figure now Next to the original 6-inch Black Series Han Solo figure, and wow, I, I've liked this figure for a very long time, but now that I see it next to this Bespin Han Solo, I'm like, what? Uh, this looks like a joke to me, man. This is so much better. And then here's Han Solo next to his other SDCC exclusive. We have the Han Solo in Carbonite. Oh, these are both Bespin Han Solos and both SDCC exclusives, huh? And then here's our Bespin Han Solo next to the Bespin Luke Skywalker, and we have Lando Calrissian. And this was his Bespin look, right? I mean, he kind of wore this on Dagobah also, but then, then he changed, right? So yeah, that's Bespin Luke, yeah. And then here's Han Solo next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. I gotta thank you 
guys once again for watching my video. I really do appreciate it when you guys spend your time here on this YouTube channel, and I appreciate it when you hit that like button if you liked the video, and please leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this STCC set, and please let me know what you think of the review. And if you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I honestly feel very conflicted with this set because I love this Han Solo figure, but I think overall, uh, for an STCC exclusive, this is a little bit lackluster. I feel like it's been a bit lacking in the STCC exclusives from Hasbro for Star Wars in the past couple of years, actually, you know? So I feel like, yeah, we get a Minoc, a breathing apparatus, a stick, and that's kind of like the only exclusive stuff that we get with this figure, and that's not really a whole lot, man. And so, the, yeah, well, I guess we get a Bespin solo figure early, right? So that, that's another plus side. So, you know, I, I love the figure, but uh, overall, I'm just going to give this set a sun rating of meh. Because really, you could wait for the retail version, not necessarily a Black Friday sale, but, you know, you could just wait for the retail version of the Bespin Han Solo and be fine. But if you're a completist, then you got to get the Minoc. I like having the Minoc. I'm kind of like that, where if there's an extra accessory, I even have have to get the accessory. I did pass on the speeder from last year's exclusive because it didn't have anything like extra or enough extra in there for me to make me want to get it. So, you know, just having a Minoc, well, that's good enough for me. So call me a sucker or whatever, but hey, I like my Star Wars figure collection. Anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to stay in touch with me on the social media, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Links to everything in the description below, and I will catch you guys later. Hopefully, we'll have some Marvel Legends reviews soon. Okay, peace! Short and Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. And